Hey there fellow travelers, Mark here with Walters World and we're in Paris, France at Sacre Coeur in the Montmartre district. This is my favorite district in Paris. We always stay here when we're here. Good prices, great food, wonderful atmosphere. And today what we have for you are 11 travel hacks that all travelers should know. And these are hacks that we use when we travel the world. So these are all legit that we actually do use. No weird stuff like putting paper clips on your shavers or stuff like that, okay? Now the first hack I wanna go into is getting cheap tickets. Now we travel a lot, so we have to be looking for tickets and deals all the time because every time we go, we've gotta buy four tickets for me, the wife, and the two boys. Okay, so what we do, and what we recommend, and what you should really do is, first off, use a few consolidators, like go to Expedia.com, CheapTickets.com, Kayak.com, go to those. See what gives you the best deal from Chicago to Paris, okay? And when you find the one that has the best deal, let's say it's United, okay? So say, okay, on cheap tickets, there's an $800 flight to Paris. Well, and it's with United. So what you then do is after you use those consolidators, go to that extra, extra air, airlines uh, website and check out there and put in Paris, you know, Chicago, Paris, and you might save a little money there, okay? So that's your best bet to find the cheap tickets. Now, the thing is, if you want a little bonus hack, what you should do is, before you do this, clear out your cache, do your private browsing, send it private browsing, clear the cookies and the cache and all these things so they can't track that you've looked before, and that's what you're gonna get to your best price. Now, the second hack we have is about your clothes. You wanna pack more stuff? Instead of folding your clothes, roll them up. Jocelyn swears by this, and it does work, because by rolling the clothes, you have much more space to buy more things later. Now, a little extra hack with this one, a bonus little hack is, bring some downy wrinkle releaser, so when you roll it out, you can just spray it, go down, wrinkles are gone. So. That's one. Roll the clothes and bring that wrinkle releaser. Nice little thing, the wrinkle releaser smells good too. So hey, a double bonus, all right? So the third hack we have for you is, let's face it, you don't wanna smell like a bum when you travel, right? Of course not. So what you should do is put some dryer sheets in your laundry in terms of in your luggage because it'll keep your laundry smelling fresher and when you're mixing clean and dirty clothes that's one of the things that can keep a little more freshness in your clothes for a little bit longer and it does make a difference after you've been going for a couple weeks because your clothes do get a little stinky okay now a bonus hack with that is you can actually also use your downy wrinkle releaser for kind of like spot smells let's say to do that or some febreze that's another good thing to keep your smell stuff smelling a little bit better than um, a usual stinky traveler. The fourth thing you want to hack we have for you is no one likes to wait in line. Whether you're going to the Louvre here in Paris or you're going to the Colosseum in Rome or the Vatican museums, nobody likes lines, right? Nobody likes lines. No, of course not. So what you should do is buy, pre-book your tickets online. Why wait for two hours at the Vatican when you can order your tickets from the you know comfort of your own home and just walk right in? So buy your tickets online when it's available. And a lot of these major sites do have online ticket purchasing, so you can do that. And now an extra bonus hack with that is when you buy it online, sometimes they give you a deal or they offer you specials. Maybe you could get to come in an hour earlier, or you get to stay an hour later, or you can get you know special discounts at the food court or these kind of things. So it's worth checking out purchasing your tickets online okay now the fifth hack we have has to deal with all the cords you know you've got your iPad cord you've got your camera cord you've got your computer cords you've got your kid cords all kinds of stuff you got to deal with and the thing is what do you do with them all the things you don't want them all going around especially if you're gonna be carrying them in your backpack so what I recommend to do is get a ziplock bag put all the cords in there so they're easy to deal with so you're not trying to pull them all out and, and rip things up you have it nice easy there also, the TSA likes that, so you can just pull out all your electronics in one go. Saves yourself a lot of time. Bonus hack for this one, let's say you fly. Like when I fly, I wear my glasses. Oh, uh, when, when I travel, with, I wear my glasses, but I don't need my, my glasses case. I'll actually put my wires in my glasses case so I have them there, okay? Number six of our travel hacks is, hey, make sure you can buy stuff when you're traveling, okay? And that means calling your bank and calling your credit card company to let them know that you're gonna be abroad. Because if you don't let them know, your card will probably be declined and you won't be able to buy things. And you never know if you're trying to call your local bank on a Saturday in December, they might not be open, okay? So you don't wanna be stuck with no money in Paris, so make sure you do that. And that has happened. My brother, he came to visit me in Italy once. Didn't make the call, it was a long weekend, so I had to give him a little money for a bit. He called his bank on Monday, it was fine, but 
for a couple days it was a little dicey so make sure you call your bank to let them know where you're going to be and the bonus hack with that is then they're actually making sure that only your card is used in the countries you're going to so if somebody swipes your wallet in Paris they can't use it in Amsterdam okay our seventh hack is you forgot your phone plug has it ever happened when you're going you free, leave it in the car you leave it at your house it does happen so what you should do is when you go to your hotel Go to the front desk and ask because so many people leave their cords there, they're going to have some. But the key thing is to say, could I borrow it while I'm here? Because they can't give it to you, it's other people's property, but most likely they'll let you, they'll loan it to you while you're at the hotel, which makes life a lot easier. A little bonus hack for this is if you only forget your little plug part, maybe you're in a different country and they have different plugs, you can just use your USB cord and plug it into the back of most HD TVs because they have the USB thing and charge it that way. Now, the eighth hack we have for you is, are you worried about you're losing your passport and your tickets and your hotel information because you got it in your backpack, you think someone might steal it? One thing we recommend, scan everything. Passport, hotel reservations, all this. Put in a PDF file and email it to yourself. So even if it's lost, you can still go online in your Gmail or Hotmail and get it from there. Another good thing is, what I like to do is, I'll actually download it in a PDF onto my phone. So I always have it there. So I have hard copy, I have a PDF copy, and there's one in my email. So no worries there. No last minute going, oh my God, where's our tickets? Caleb, where are our tickets? I don't know. Okay, so we don't have to worry about that. Our ninth hack is about keeping your passport safe. Now there's things you should do, but I'm just thinking it, keeping it safe from stupid little things like the bottle explodes for the baby's milk in your purse and your passport becomes a milky mess. Yes, that has happened to me. Luckily, the boys and my wife's passport was in a Ziploc bag, so it's safe. So I recommend it. keeping your passport in a Ziploc bag when you travel. It keeps it from getting wet, and it, if you're wearing it on you in a money belt, you're gonna sweat. So it'll keep it clear of the sweat, also keep it from the rain, also makes it easier to find, especially if you're family and you got four or five passports, you keep them in a Ziploc, they're all stuck together. There's no, oh, where's Johnny's passport? No, we have everything with us. So, Ziploc, I'm giving you a lot of props today. Number 10, hey, who doesn't love horrible airline food? Ooh, ooh, me. Well, I have a hack for you here is how to get the least horrible airline food when you fly. And that is when they ask you, do you have any special requests when you buy your ticket, you order the vegetarian meal. Why is that gonna give you the least horrible one? Because they make them in smaller batches. And since they make them in smaller batches, they're usually made closer to the departure time. So you have a better chance for fresher ingredients and theoretically tastier food. Okay. And the 11th hack we have for you from here in Paris is when you are flying home and you need extra space in your luggage, when you go to the airport, when you're dressing up for the day you depart, wear all of your heavy clothes. So wear your boots, wear your jeans, wear a few shirts, layer it up, put your sweater on because it takes a lot of space, and your coat because the thing is your coat, if you put it in your bag, takes up space. If you're carrying it with you, it doesn't count as a carry-on. Okay, so make sure you wear all your heavy clothes when you're flying because it gives you more space in your luggage. Another thing with that, when you are you know, going through, you need some more space, wear pants with deep pockets so you can put like maybe a camera or some heavier stuff in your pockets. I've put a Lonely Planet book in my pocket before so I didn't have to throw it away from my over, overweight luggage. So that's something that's a little bit of a help. The last little help on there is if you got shoes or flip-flops, you can actually tie them onto your backpack that you're carrying onto the plane, which maybe your backpack's full, but your shoes are on the outside, doesn't count towards that. Anyway, I hope those 11 hacks and a few bonus hacks in there help you out to travel a little bit better. These are all things that we do when we travel around the world, and it really helps us, and we hope it really helps you. So if you wanna learn more about traveling, five things you love and hate about Paris, what to see and do in Europe, and all kinds of great stuff, check us out on our website at Walters world.com and if you have any other great travel hacks please leave it in the comments section below and if you want to see more you'll see five things you're love and hate about paris click here if you want to watch our last video click here if you want to subscribe click over there so bye our au from paris france